everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art and welcome back to Draw Some. So for today's Draw Some prompt, the prompt is Gingerbread House. So for Gingerbread House, I decided to draw a whole little gingerbread scene. I went a bit mad and had a bit of fun <laughs> and I'd never drawn a gingerbread house. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go mad and do a whole little landscape. So, <laughs> so I start by drawing the house, the tree and the little snowman. I pop a couple of candy canes in. And then I draw me a little reindeer at the front, or it's a little fawn. And I go around the outlines of the picture with micron pen and I add the little sweets on top of the house. And then go around all the windows, add some candy cane stripes with a little heart. I thought that would make it look a bit nicer. And then just continue on around all the outlines of all the different parts of the picture. I decided something needed to happen up in the top of the page so I decided to draw Santa's sleigh being pulled by reindeer as well so yeah so we're having some little gingerbread reindeers and a little gingerbread sleigh with Santa in it <laughs> so I leave the white you can see I've drawn lines in and around the reindeer but I'm going to leave that as the white of the icing on the gingerbread and I start to draw patterns onto the sleigh which I'll leave white as well and that will stand out really well when I get towards the end of the picture um, when I add the background and I add all the other colours on so I just finish off drawing in the guidelines first now I start with the colour and on all the candy canes and anywhere there's stripes I add this beautiful bright red colour and I erase all the pencil marks and I use a couple of different tones of brown for the gingerbread so I add that to the little fawn at the front first and I leave a little he's got little icing snow on his back whoops the camera got a bit wobbly there but we won't worry about that and then I add gingerbread colour to the back of the tree and anywhere that I've left white will be the white of the icing and the white of the paper. So it's much easier to leave the paper as your brightest white than it is to use any white pen. If you leave your paper, um, you don't have to worry about it um, looking dull at the end. It'll look really, really bright and lovely. So now I use a brown onto the gingerbread house and I start to go around all of the outlines and all of the walls. So if you guys would like to join in with Aurora and I at Aurora's Art World, we would love you to hashtag draw some squad to Instagram and that way Aurora and I can check out all of your work. Um, you can follow these prompts and create your own pieces in your own designs just by using the prompt. Um, yeah, we'd love to check out all your work and follow your art journey. And I will have Aurora's video linked below. I would love you to go and check out what she's created for this piece and also check out all her other, other videos. Oh my God, she does some amazing stuff. She does art, she does craft, she does journal making, you name it, she does it. You need to go and check her out. So you will love her channel. And um, yeah, so I'm going around doing the outsides of these little deer. Again, just staying with my little, my original brown pen. And I just continue on till everything's all coloured in. Again, like I said, leaving the white of the paper as the white of the icing. And I finish off Santa and his little sleigh. And I decide I need to add some shadows. So I get a darker reddy brown. It's like a whiny colour. And I take that around all the shadow areas, around the gingerbread house, around the windows, underneath the little deer at the bottom, anywhere that I want sort of contrast. And this would be a good idea for a Christmas card or something like that for someone you love. You can do something like this and give it away for Christmas. It's a lovely little gift to have. So now I decide to add a sky blue to the background. So I just get the lightest, brightest blue I can find. And I just try and do up and down motion with all the lines. Keep the lines going one direction. It just looks a bit neater that way. And follow that round all the deer and all the details again remembering to leave the white of the paper as the icing so I want that to be the brightest white so I try not to go over any of the white areas I want to keep and that way I don't have to worry about using a white pen and I continue on until I've got all the way around all of Santa and everywhere else So now I'm just adding the final touches with the dark brown just around the edges of the gingerbread house, around the, the edges of the sleigh and the reindeer. And we are just about done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, Aurora's links will all be linked below. Please go check her channel out. 
um, and I will see you all for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Okie doke. Bye.